that is blinder. Anyway, hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we've got some fun, whatever it's called, production quality. I'm recording at this mic and I can look at the peaking and fun terms like that. I have a light, it's currently blinding me. Today I'm going to be talking about my favourite songs of 2021. Not all of these are actually released in 2021, these are just ones I've listened to during last year. I know this is a bit light, but I only got right into it now. So there's going to be a lot of Eurovision songs in this, but what do we expect? First one I have is two Mona Skin songs. Obviously Mona Skin, they won Eurovision. So obviously Zeti won their Eurovision winning song. And then also another one I love is Ventanli, which means like 20 years. It's also a great, great song. More like a rock ballad. I think just because it's slower and a lot of the kind of songs before Mona Skin won Eurovision that were popular in Italy were always rock ballads. You know, Torna a Casa, Le Parole Lontane. I totally don't do Italian. But another Eurovision-esque one I have is Monument by Kaino. This was a song in North Mali Grand Prix, Norway's Eurovision selection show, which is actually going on right now. Monument came second. It didn't win MGP. I think it should, but I think Eurovision 2021 was already strong enough. Maybe we didn't need another potential winner. Just makes one like scream the lyrics, you know, much better than Fallen Angel. And next up, we have a band I discovered this year that I am obsessed with now, which is called Sleep Token. They're like a British rock metal experimental band. They don't show their faces and all that. And the songs I'm recommending to you, or that I liked the most, was Alkaline, Atlantic, Missing Limbs, which are all from the newest album, This Place Will Become Your Tomb, and then Jaws, which was released like four, three years ago. Alkaline is mainly a rock, a rock metal song. Atlantic is mainly a piano ballad, which then kicks in right at the end. Missing Limbs is entirely a ballad. And then Jaws is also like kind of half rock, it's like most of their songs start out really slow and then they get just like rockier as you go on. Next up is another Eurovision person, which is Jean Tears. He represented Switzerland. I loved his song Tout l'univers, which means like all the universe, entire universe. It's my great French. Powerful ballad, very atmospheric. It did come third and won the jury vote for a reason. And another one he recently released, which is technically not the 2021 song, but 2022 song, is Silhouette. I've listened to it so much recently. Why is there so many cars passing? Now on to a drastic change of genre. Motors in the White. They make gothic metalcore. And that's not for me, that is from the band themselves. These songs did come at 2020. I listened to them a lot at the start of the year in 2021. And um, which is Another Life, Brand New Numb, and Thoughts and Prayers were my three favourites personally. I also like Headache. That was much heavier. I like the entire album to be honest, um, Disguise. I think the only one I wasn't a fan of was Broadcasting from Beyond the Grave. Though if you don't like the genre, you, you will hate them. Going on to um, a San Remo song, which is Voce, I think is how it's pronounced. It's a voice by Madame, Madame. I don't know, I don't speak Italian. But it was one of the songs in San Remo. I don't know really where it came in San Remo, but it won something else. It's not a genre I usually would like. It's kind of sung with autotune, and I'm, but I don't really like that, but I honestly really like the song. You know, if Monaskin weren't in San Remo, I probably would have wanted this one to win the contest. And back to the rock and metal. Also, Teardrops by Bring Me The Horizon. I kind of stopped listening to Bring Me The Horizon after their Ammo album. I wasn't really a big fan. It clearly was just their, their label wanting them to be more mainstream, so they stopped doing this, the kind of the heavy stuff. But I didn't know they kind of went back to the rock and metal until a friend of mine recommended the song. I listened to it all the time. Kind of back to their roots, but not too heavy roots, because I don't like incredibly heavy stuff. <laughs> Next up, we have some Hosier. Also not released last year, but I'm still recommending them because I listen to them a lot. Arsonist Lullaby for when you want to be the badass main character and Cherry Wine for when you want to cry. I love that song. It's very emotional though. Hosier is one of the best songwriters of our generation. He's very underappreciated. And back to the Eurovision we have Shum by Go A, which was Ukraine's entry. And which I originally said in my video rating all the songs, I didn't think it would do well because I thought it'd be too much for Europe, but it actually came second in the televote, so I was clearly very wrong. Also a song I was into a lot which was on some, like, it was on like a playlist, like POV, you don't want to become the villain, but the, the protagonist has forced you to or something like that. One of those playlists. It was Choke by, I don't know how, but they found me, but it's a good song. I mean, the lyrics about wanting to murder someone, I'm pretty sure, but there's probably some deep meaning behind it, but it does make you feel like the main character or like the villain in the story, which who doesn't want to be a good villain? And next up we have Now Vou Ficar by Pedro Gonzalez. I don't speak Portuguese. This is a song at Festival de Cancel. But I don't know why I like Navu Ficar. It's a beat. The live performance is a bit iffy, but you know what? It's a bit of a good pleasure of mine. I listen to it a lot. And going on to one of my favourite artists, 
Melanie Martinez. Always in the top five most listened to artists from my Spotify rat. Um, she, I think it was this year she released her EP. It was like at the start of the year after school. Um, I probably like The Bakery the most in that one. There's a lot of good ones I like, but that one's the one I probably like the most. And also Teacher's Pet, which is one from her previous album, which came out like 2019, K-12. Teacher's Pet has suddenly become very popular on TikTok. I always thought it was unra- underrated before, but now it's getting a little bit deserved. It's a very good song. Why don't you listen to her next album? I need more. I need more content. My next one is incredibly basic, but Garbage Lessons by Olivia Rodrigo. I only actually listened to this song like months after it came out, and then I realised why everyone loved it. I love a good emotional ballad to yell to. I remember the week after I passed my driving test, I kept on playing it because the first line is I got my driver's license last week. A genre I haven't talked about yet is reggaeton. I do love a good bit of reggaeton. The one I listened to a lot in the past, like literally a month, has been R.I.P. by like Rita Ora Anita and Sophie Reyes. It's like mainly in Spanish, got a bit of English, got like two lines of Brazilian, Brazilian? I mean Brazilian Portuguese. I don't know why I like it, it's fun. Another Spanish reggaeton-esque song we have is Tiempo Pa, pa Olvidar. I don't actually know, is it Para? I think that's what it is. It's a good song though, it's less fast and it's more kind of, it's quite a slow song, but it's still got the kind of reggaeton urban beat to it. And then continuing on the reggaeton, slow reggaeton songs, we have La Noche de Anoche by Bad Bunny and Rosalia. The lyrics are sometimes a bit risque, but sometimes I just zone out. And I just don't listen to the lyrics. You can just hear them and they just go in one ear and out the other ear. They don't pass through the translation section of my brain. And another Rosalia song is Millionaria. Millionaria? The song's actually in Catalan because Rosalia is Catalonian. And I think it's like her only Catalan song. I'm doing Catalan this year. I thought I'd start to listen to it because this is totally revision when you listen to a song in a language you study. And that's a fact. The next one I'm going to recommend is Kami Kami by Milena. This is the song that won Junior Eurovision, which is like Eurovision for the under 16s. So yeah, she is like 13, but it's a great song. In 2020, my most listened to song was the Junior Eurovision winning song from 2019. These teenagers, they make great music. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And it's like mainly in Armenian. It's a few lines in English because the language will still exist in junior revision. It doesn't anymore in normal revision. And lastly, the two songs I'm going to recommend are Figa and Terra by Tanshugueras, which is a Galician electro-folk band. Terra is a song being performed in Veredon for us. It's Spain's national selection for Eurovision this year. I hope it wins. It's probably my favourite, but I, I like so many songs in that selection. So I'm honestly, there's so many. I'm like, yeah, I'd be fine with that one. Figa is another one they do. Probably more like hard hitting, I would say Figa is. Or more like modern that was my my modern move anyway that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching though if you like for like this video Ugh, i can't speak remember to subscribe i stream on twitch though georgia b underscore come see come watch so bye